This is so awkward. How do people do this? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Just Kick the Dancing Avon Lady, and today we're doing a first impression slash review video on the Avon with this new face shop collaboration, the Monopop Eyeshadow Palette. That's the box. This is the actual palette. Eek. Disclaimer is that I'm not a makeup artist. I am just a makeup enthusiast. I am someone who absolutely loves to play with makeup. Played with makeup all my life, mostly because of dance and now, well, because I can. <laughs> I actually just finished my foundation using the Ink Lasting Cushion Foundation Slim Fit Edition. I keep saying edition because it just feels like it needs that extra little edition. I need to finish my look so I figured what better opportunity than to test out and swatch out the new mono palette for you. So there's two different versions. Um, would you call it a version? I'm gonna call it a version. So the first one that I have here is called Mood Brown. So it is really much of your neutrals. And then the other one is called Mood Coral. I only ordered the Mood Brown today just to test out because I really don't need two different palettes right now. I still have tons and tons and tons of makeup, but I couldn't resist trying one of them because I am so excited about the collaboration that we have with the face shop. I mean, the products, every product that I've tried so far, I have pretty much loved and I'm still using it over and over again. I was reading about makeup trends and one of the trends that's coming that's going to be here for 2020 is a neutral smoky eye and I love doing very soft smoky eyes. I'm not a huge dramatic smoky eye person for my everyday look for parties and events yes and for stage work yes but for everyday look I tend to do more of a soft or even sometimes a colorful smoky eye just for fun and I figured you know what I need a little bit more of the neutral colors in my makeup collection, so why not give this one a shot? It's supposed to have nine universally flattering shades to create an endless look for day to date. Nelson took me out on a date. They are smooth and easy to blend, and there's a mix of matte and shimmer so that it's really, really versatile and you can create a lot of different looks. Ooh. This one's actually a little bit more orangey than I thought, but that's okay. Very pretty. This part here, I would save the matte shades are this one here this one here and this one here and then the rest have shimmer i feel like it has different intensity of shimmers like this one is a very soft shimmer and this one's a medium shimmer and like this one is like shimmer 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 like blah, horns blaring shimmer so but not sparkly just shimmer like not glitter just shimmer there's no funky design on it it's a minimalist look and I think that it is really what the nude look is about, is looking like you have you put minimal effort or you just kind of woke up like this. And I think that's what, what the minimal makeup look is really about, is that you just woke up and you're fresh faced and you have need to do very little to walk out the door. I can do that, but I look a lot more tired, unfortunately. That's okay. That's what this is for. What we're gonna do is we are going to first swatch this out for you. Can I swatch these? Will I swatch? This is very, very, very light. This is like pretty much like my skin tone color. Ah, there we go. It's a little bit better now. That's the second one. So the very top one is literally like my 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 skin color, and then the next shade down, and then we're gonna keep going. Clean off my fingers in between. Oh, let's go. Okay, top row. It's very soft, like really, really soft. One, two, three. Next row. Okay, so that has a little bit more like peachy orangey to it. Ooh, I think I'm like this one. Oh, that one's really pretty. It's very like gold flex like. Oh, I like it. I really like this one. And the final one from this one is here. Okay. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Final one here. Oh, it's actually a lot softer than I thought it would be. There we go. I didn't have enough product on my finger. This one's gonna be really, really pretty, I think. Yeah, this is gonna be like the main highlighter for me, I think. There we go. So one, one, two, three, one, two, three. 
Maybe I should have swatched it here. But then you get my arm hair. It was very soft, very velvety. It felt really easy to apply. Let's see how it looks on my eyes. He's not gonna sell it though. I'll be back. I'm back. I know I'm ginormous right now. Let's move on with trying this on my eyes. I really love this one. Let's create a bit of a shimmery look. We're gonna start off with a meet the medium color here, the middle one here, just as a nice and simple base. I really like this brush because A, it's really soft, and B, it puts a lot of pigment on just because of how dense the brushes are. So to me, it's like one of the most perfect eyeshadow brushes. It's a very soft, velvety look. And so this one has a little bit of shimmer to it, but not a lot. It's not the matte one. It's like the middle one that has a little tiny bit of shimmer to it. So if I wanted to do just a single eyeshadow look, I could totally just do this one here like that, put a little bit of lighter on, and then I'm done for the day. But because I want to test out a little bit more of the palette, we're going to try on a few other colors. What I'm also going to do is I want to take my smudging brush, all right? It's just a really dense, short, bristly brush. And I'm going to take that same color and I want to just put it under my eye part right here just to, so that it kind of balances the eye a little bit more. Next, I want to take the darker shade, this one here, and I'm going to use my smudger brush again and I'm just going to do the outer corner of my eye. So I'm essentially creating just a little bit of a V for a very, very soft, smoky eye. So I'm just going to take this one for now. It's a fluffier brush. I'm just going to blend it out a little bit just to soften the lines. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Just gives my eyes a little bit more depth. Now, I'm going to take that gorgeous gold color right in the middle there. And I'm just going to take my eyeshadow brush, put a little bit just on the, on the outer tip. And I'm just going to highlight the center of my eyeball. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, wow. It's very soft. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. To finish off the look, I'm going to take my angled eyeliner brush and we'll go back to that darkest shade. And normally I'd use a black, but I want to only use this one palette today. So, and I'm just going to make that my liner for a very, very soft look. I'm going to start it thin, right in the corner of my eye, and then gradually make it a little bit thicker, just to where it was at the V. A little bit thicker, just at the outer corner of my eye. And then I blend it into that one darker section there. Now, I'm also going to take a little bit and just go along just on the outer part of my lower lash line, just to give my lower lashes a little bit more definition. See the difference? A little bit more definition makes such a huge difference. It just, it looks complete to me. Lower lash line, no lower lash line. Now I'm just going to finish up the other side. Now, if I really want to, and just to really accentuate the eye a little more, I uh, take my ring finger and go into the lightest shade right here. And just dab the inner corner of my eyes. It just brightens up your entire eye a little bit. Just kind of wake you up. If you want a little bit more glam look, you can take the brighter shade here. If not, I'd probably use this one here as a under my eyebrow highlighter just ever so slightly along under my eyebrow and that's it okay i'm going to finish off with mascara and we will see how the complete look goes this eyeshadow color it's so pretty i love the little bit of gold just in the center i think it just adds like a whole nother dimension and i like how blendable it is i mean i can even blend this part here a little bit more if i wanted to but Nathaniel is going to start crying very, very soon. And like this entire look minus mascara was all done completely with this, including the liners and everything. And it's so sophisticated, such a pretty sophisticated look. I am going to put this back here so that it just kind of protects the mirror and doesn't get too dirty. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I'm going to add a little bit of blush and just put on some gloss because I want a very, very simple look today. And then I'll have a complete look done for the day. So this is the Cushion Blush. If you want to see my first impression review video on that, click up here. 
It just gives you like this whole really nice fresh face look. This one is the Avon True Color Glow in Aura. So that's it guys. What do you think? Oh my gosh, this palette is so pretty. The eyeshadow is so nice. It's like it has just the right amount of shimmer to it too. It just catches the light and adds that little bit of oomph to a neutral smoky eye. I mean, if you want just to go completely neutral, you can use completely just the matte. And that's perfectly fine too. I really enjoy how versatile this palette can really be. And the fact that I can also mix it with the other colors that I have. And it's going to be very, 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 very versatile with the other makeup palettes that I have. So yay for that. Oh, now I'm tempted to buy the other one. So here's the look. It's a very soft, very pretty look. It can also be a very professional look. You can have fun with it with a shimmer or you can just do complete matte. There could be a lot of play with this, this makeup set. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this palette it is to me it is so pretty i really 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 do like it and i think i'm going to have a lot of fun playing with it i just really enjoyed the amount of shimmer it has it's not like over the top and it's really nice for an everyday look or if you want to during the day have a nice matte look and then in the for like from day to date add a little bit of shimmer to it you can just throw this into your makeup bag or into your gym bag or whatever. If you enjoyed this video, guys, make sure you give me a big fat thumbs up and show me some love. And if you're new to this channel, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. I have new videos up every single week about new product launches, products, and also, of course, my dance adventures. If you want to see more of our great products or if you want to become a beauty boss and start up your own online business, make sure you click my Easter link down below. I am here to help you out. You can reach out to me, find me on my social medias. All the handles are down in the description box. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.